Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy, both the corporal works and the spiritual. Now, I think it would be good to once again look at mercy in general, and why a proper understanding of the works of mercy is so important. First, it's important because it helps us to be merciful in our own life circumstances. When we're called upon to show mercy to others in our own life, these works of mercy can help us to figure out just how to do that, and give us some direction for whatever feelings of sympathy we may have for others. Secondly, even if we have no feelings of sympathy for others, the works of mercy can still give us direction and help us to know how to act in a general way, preventing us from behaving in as cold a way as we feel like behaving when we're around others. Finally, to be frank, there are lots of very famous people in the world who are willing and eager to lie to you about what should be considered mercy and what shouldn't be. Some would have you think that every time you get sentimental with someone, or sympathize with someone's feelings, or try to make a person feel better, or give them what they say they want, that you're somehow being merciful. This is definitely not the case. Anyone can manufacture a sob story to try to trick you into giving them something that they shouldn't rightly have, or which they would only abuse if they got it. That's why it's not the goal to make people feel good. Some people set conditions for their feeling good on purpose, to try to make horrible things happen in the world by playing on the sympathies of others. If we know the works of mercy backwards and forwards, we'll know what obligations mercy gives us, but just as important, we'll know what obligations it does not give us. That can be essential in standing up against the wickedness of famous propagandists who spread lies about the will of God regarding mercy. Next season, I thought we'd get into the topic of the goodness of God, so I hope you'll be here when we delve into the question, is goodness itself really the same thing as existence? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.